two. What are you holding, and who is this? What's going on here? What's all this about? Well, one of the things people keep asking is about the worms and how they regenerate and what that looks like. Um, so one of my students, Dee, um, presented a poster at a conference last week um, that went down quite well. So when you go to a conference um, over two or three days, there isn't time for everybody who's got interesting work to talk. So we tend to listen to the big professors or someone who's done something really exciting that's recently published. Um, what tends to happen with postdocs and students is they put their work on a poster and hang it up in this big room. Um, and then people walk around the posters, go to the ones they're interested in. Now, this is Dee's poster, which she printed out and took to the conference. The nice thing about this is it, it has some pictures of the worms and what they look like when they regenerate. I guess it was, it was a bit nerve-wracking because I knew that one of our major competitors was there. If it was just normal people that don't work on the same system and stuff, then you can, you're a bit more confident to just talk around the subject. But with him, he knows far more than me, so yeah, it was a bit nerve-wracking. And did that, what, did that person come and look, up, look at it and ask much about it? Or? Yeah, yeah, we were talking for about half an hour on it, um, and he asked quite a few questions and suggested a few things that I should do next, so that was quite nice. Dee, why does it have to be so big? Um, just so everyone can stand back and have a look from a distance and you can just point different things. Is there like a set way of doing it and is it all scientific or is part of it a little bit marketing and you're trying to think how will this catch the eye and how will I get people to look at it? What, what, how does all that work? Uh, I think science is, uh, is definitely all about marketing. You've got to make people interested in what you're doing otherwise what's the point? Um, so it's definitely all about the big colours and the big diagrams. Make the diagrams big and the writing small. Okay well what I've done is I've done two different cuts. The first one is anterior or in front of the pharynx, which is where they, they sort of eat and excrete from. So it's a nice focal point for, for seeing where you can cut the worm. So does that mean you've chopped its head off as well? Yes, chopped its head off. Um, and then here is behind the pharynx. So I've just got a little tail bit left over. Then I just watch it regenerate. So here we've got day one to day six of regeneration. You're supposed to be able to see the pharynx is sort of around here. Yep. And then here you can see this little white white blob on the top, and that's the the blastema, which is the regenerating surface, if you like. Why is it Why is it a different colour? Um, well, this is pigmented cells, and because these are brand new, they're they're all white. And I guess from day one to three you're just getting a, a bigger blastema, so lots more cells and they're all thinking about where they are and everything. And, um, and then you start to get more of a head forming and then you get eyes. But along this way, you can see here that this bit kind of looks like this, this chopped up off bit, so you can tell that it's just been chopped off. Whereas later on, you can see that it looks, it looks more like the shape of a, a whole worm. So what's going on here? Well, what I'm showing here is by cutting it sort of further back that regeneration is a bit later. So you're having some kind of a delay for some reason. Um, so I see that here, it's only on day six that I'm starting to get two eyes back. The eyes are a nice visual way of, of just being able to see whether a worm is regenerating and at what rate. So if you chop the head off this worm, so you've got this tail bit remaining, then you get d eyes appearing at about day five. Whereas if you chop a lot more of the worm off, so you only get a, a smaller tail piece, then you only get eyes coming back at about day six. So there's a bit more of a, a time gap between regeneration and when you see these eyes coming back. Well, actually the poster, actually just making the poster itself took me about a day. Um, but getting all the worms, getting them through the different preparations that we do and then photographing them and then editing them in Photoshop was quite... You didn't Photoshop them, did you? No, just, just taking the size to the right. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we, we put the worms on a slide and put a cover slip over them to sort of squash them a tiny bit so that they're nice and flat. Um, and then we just take them on a microscope. So you focus in on the microscope and then there's a camera down the microscope. Yeah, my parents have seen it. Tell me what your parents thought of the poster. Uh, they thought I was a very clever girl. <laughs> Do they understand it? Do they ask you much about um, it? Yeah, they're very interested. I think everyone that's close to me is quite interested in what I do, what I do in the lab all day, so that's quite nice. And what happens to this poster now? Um, well, if it was a little smaller, it would go on the wall outside, but it's too big for the wall, so I don't know whether to reprint it uh, or yeah. to just keep it in my archives. 
hairband. A hairband. It's all I had. I lost the uh, the band that I had on it. 